Hi, welcome to Swift Sense. I'm Debbie. If you're returning, thanks for coming back to watch. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and click subscribe. Um, make sure you uh, hit that notification bell so the next time a video comes up, you're aware. Today I wanted to talk to you about a new fragrance that was launched in 2019 from the house of Zerzhov. When I first smelled this, I was instantly in love. And I believe that many of you will feel the same way. This is Herba Pura by Zerzhov. The bottle is very nice and velvety, it has a smooth kind of texture. The lighting in here isn't really good. It looks blue there, but actually it's more like a, a blue-green color. It's got the nice little Zerzhov metal symbol here and the traditional cap that they have. It fits very snugly. This is a kind of a fruity scent. Wow. So in the opening, you get a little bit of citrus. There's some orange and lemon in there. But then you get this very fruity vibe. And as most Zerzhov fragrances are, this will last you all day. Um, it's gonna leave a nice scent trail. So when you leave the room, and or someone's behind you, they're gonna pick up on that throughout the day as you're walking through. I want to give you some comparisons with this because this at full retail, you're gonna pay for a 100 ml bottle like this, you're gonna pay $250. You can find it on some of the fra uh, Facebook fragrance groups for around 185. But some of us, you know, you may not, that may not be in your budget. And while we do offer decants, that can give you an affordable option to a full bottle so you can try before you buy. There are also lots of clones out there. And I have a couple here that I wanna share with you today and give you an idea of which comes closest. I'll give you the prices. I have the openings and the dry downs. And let's go ahead and get started on that. The first one I'm gonna to talk to you about, this is from, camera's kinda of funny. This is from Alexandria Fragrances. This is called Tropical Aura. And a bottle like this, which is about 30 mil, is $43. So a fraction of the price of what the original Herba Pura comes in at. Very nice. nice. Let me uh, get the comparison of the opening for that, or for the Herba Pura. They are very close, but the Herba Pura in the opening is still more citrusy, more lemon in there than what I'm getting from the Alexandria scent. And we'll get to the dry downs in a minute. Let me go ahead and go through these other fragrances that I have. The other one that I have, this is a sample that we got from Fragrenza. This is Amor de Venezia. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. Fragrenza is a pretty affordable um, clone house as well. They do also have some original scents, as does Alexandria Fragrances. So to me, this one's coming across more kind of creamy. It's not as citrusy as the opening in Herba Pura was. I'm really picking up on that citrus vibe from this. I know that it says that it has orange and lemon in it, but I'm starting to pick up a grapefruit vibe in the Herba Pura. The Fragrenza version, not very citrusy, but it is fruity. It's similar. Also, the original Zerzhov is more potent. Like it's, it's projecting more off of that strip than the Fragrenza is. The Fragrenza is, for a 60 ml bottle, $60, so about a dollar per mil. They have one that's called Oriental Diamond. Oh, light's not very good on that. Oriental Diamond. This is the Herba Pura with a twist, so it's not gonna be exact. Um, this, as I understand, is supposed to have some honey in it. So let me... Definitely a little bit sweeter. You can definitely pick up more of that kind of honey vibe in this. So it is similar, but it's their own little twist on that. 
and that's fine. If you want something slightly different, that's that's good too. Um, the next one that I have, this one is from Genre, and this one is called Above the Clouds. This is their little sample bottle that we got. The only thing with Genre is they do not have a website yet. Hopefully they're in the process of getting one. Um, and so they only are available through Facebook group. I think it's called uh, Genre Performs Neighborhood. I'll post the link in the information below. But they only have a window, a narrow window open of when they um, have their batches available. So you got to get it when it opens and um, it's not open for very long. So I'm trying to see where the sprayer is. But their prices are very reasonable. It's uh, $25 for 30 mils. Now, they're, this above the clouds, they do not consider this, they don't say this as a clone. But when I smelled it, it was reminiscent to me of Herba Pura, so I just wanted for my own information and to share with you to see how close it really is. You know, again, they don't say it's a clone, they consider this an original fragrance, so I don't want to put in, misinformation out there. Now this one's coming out and it's more of a spray or like a stream instead of a spritz. So as I'm smelling them side by side, I think what I noticed was that the, there was a citrus, a citrus opening there. But as I'm smelling them side by side, I do tell the difference. It's, and that's the thing, you know, sometimes you think it smells similar, but then when you get side by side, you can pick out the differences. So in the opening of that particular one, it's not as close to the Herba Pura as I thought. And again, they don't say it's a clone, but to me, when I first smelled it, it reminded me of that. So I wanted to just do this comparison to see if it really was. Um, let me go ahead and get the dry downs for you. So I have out of the... Sorry, step back. Out of the openings, sorry, I just want to see which is the closest for you in the opening. I have the original Zerge off here. This is um, for Grenza Oriental Diamond. This is their version with a twist. And then this is Amore de Venezia. And this is the Alexandria Fragrances. I gotta say, to me in the opening, the Fragrenza version is more like the Zerzhoff version. It has more of that citrusy opening note that the Zerzhoff does. So for me, to this sniffer, in the opening, the Fragrenza version is the closest. And again, that one is $60 for 60 mils but that's better than $250 for 100 mils. Let's get the dry down because this is what's gonna be lasting on your skin. These have been sitting here probably for about half hour, 45 minutes. So this is the Herba Pura. As it's, as it's dried, you're pick, I'm picking up more of that, still a little bit of the fruitiness from those middle notes, but I'm picking up more of that kind of vanilla musk amber, kind of a sweet scent. Kind of sweet and creamy, but still a, a little bit fruity. Uh, this is the Alexandria Fragrances Tropical Aura. It's sweeter than the Zerzhoff. There's still, like this is more creamy. You can get more of the vanilla in the Alexandria Fragrances. The Zerzhoff, you still have kind of a hint of that citrusy from the opening, but Okay, so it's it's similar, but more vanilla to me in the Alexandria fragrances. And then this is the Fragrenza um, Amor de Venetia. Remarkably close. It's fainter. The Fragrenza version isn't as isn't projecting as much as what the Zerzhoff one is. 
It doesn't have exactly the same amount of fruitiness that the Zerzhov does. Um, but between that and the Alexandria fragrances, I think that one is closer. And let's just sample their Herba Pura with a twist. With, oops, sorry. Again, this one has some honey in it. Still very close, a little sweeter. And then the genre, which does not purport to be a clone. This is above the clouds, and I can't pick the strip up off the, off the desk. So in the dry down, the genre one is it's not even close, and that's that's okay um, because, like I say, they don't they don't consider that to be a clone. They consider that original. So out of the dry down from these four that I have here. I'm gonna say that the the Fragrenza, the Amor de Venetia, comes closest to what the Herba Pura dry down is. It was closest in the opening, and I feel like it's closest in the dry down as well. And again, they're $60 for 60 mil. It is a little pricier than some of the other clones. Um, but if you want something that's affordable, but more closely resembles the original, then I would go with the Fragrenza version. And I will post the links to these sites below. These are 100% my own opinions. I was not paid in any way for these reviews. I know many of you have tried these. Put your comments down below. Maybe there's some out there that I haven't tried yet. Um, I only have these couple here. If you're aware of other ones, let me know and we can maybe do some reviews on those in a later video. Put your comments below, hit like and subscribe, let your friends know, and I'll see you next time on Swift Sense.